This week, deadly Martians invade and Michael and Diana are forced to cover the War of the Worlds. Stay tuned for a Geek Crash course. Wait, is this real? Wait, do you have a radio? First published in 1898, H.G. Wells' The War of the Worlds is a science fiction novel about an alien invasion of London. It's one of the earliest appearances of extraterrestrials in literature and has become a piece of science fiction iconography. The book itself has inspired films, comic books, radio dramas, albums, parallel story interpretations, and even a TV series. War of the Worlds is so popular that it has never been out of print. Explosions are seen on the surface of Mars, and later a meteor falls to Earth somewhere near South London. The narrator, who remains unnamed, stumbles upon the big, slimy, grayish aliens who proceed to incinerate the human welcome party with a heat ray, which is basically old-timey speak for laser. The Martians put together tripods, which are basically three-legged killing machines, and start killing everyone. The narrator gets trapped with a curate, who's basically a vicar type of guy, who gets captured by the Martians and has his blood sucked out of him, which is apparently how the Martians feed. The narrator then heads into London, where he intends to commit suicide by Martian, offering himself up as a snack, but the Martians are dying because they have no immunity to all the bacteria on Earth. Since apparently there's no bacteria on Mars in the story? The end. The 2001 Justice League animated series adapted the main events and visuals of War of the Worlds for the three-part story Secret Origins. Aliens, after destroying Mars, attack Earth via tripods and a team of superheroes, including Superman, attempt to stop them. In 1938, The War of the Worlds was adapted for radio and ran as an anthology radio drama, presented in the style of urgent news bulletins. The general public, however, did not understand that it was merely a dramatic reading and widespread panic ensued, with thousands of people believing the events of the story were really happening. Film adaptations include the 1953 film, which was slightly updated and modified to fit the time. Instead of turn-of-the-century London, the film was set in 1950s California, where a scientist working on the Manhattan Project is the main character. Also, they throw in a bit of a love story. A 2005 adaptation directed by Steven Spielberg and starring Tom Cruise updated the story to the 21st century and put a unique modern twist on the classic tale. There was also a 1988 TV series that essentially acted as a sequel to the 1953 film. The 2005 movie never used the words Martian or Alien. In 1898, it was plausible that there were sentient beings on Mars, but by the 20th century that had been disproven, so the movie left the alien's origins unknown. What's your favorite alien invasion story? Let us know in the comments below, and remember to subscribe for more Geek Crash Course. Until next week, you can find us on Twitter, Facebook, and our website, geekcrashcourse.com. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next week on, on Geek, Geek Crash, Crash Course. Course. That went really far. I wanted to make sure I didn't hit the camera. I was a little concerned about that, but... That's why I went up so much. It worked. It was worth it.